Hi, welcome back once again to HowToForGreatFood.com As you can see I've got some beautiful lamb chops here Absolutely delightful these are But this is really quick and easy This step, so what we're going to do is add Some salt Some black pepper I've got some dried rosemary there I've got some dried thyme there I'm also lucky enough to have some fresh rosemary and some fresh thyme. I'm going in with a bit of lemon juice. You could use lime juice if you wanted. Now I've got some chopped garlic. There's quite a lot there. I want these to be really garlicky. That was about two teaspoons in total quality olive oil, some sliced onion, I'm using a red, you could use white if you wanted, I'm simply just going to give these a little mix around. What's good is if you can leave these in your refrigerator for a couple of hours or even overnight, they'll be fantastic. I mean you could straight away cook these, which is probably what I'm going to do just for demonstration purposes. but. Yeah, overnight cover them with some shrink wrap or cling film, put them in your refrigerator, they'll be absolutely delicious. Even more so than what we're about to do. So give that a go if you can. Okay, I'll see you in the next step. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a skillet or a dry pan. I've got one of those effects type ones. If you've just got a flat pan, don't worry about that at all. But you don't want to put anything inside this. It's, uh, we've got enough juices from our meat already. And simply, just get this beautiful lamb chops on there. Now the balance of our marination, don't throw that away yet. We're going to use it a little bit. So you want to do these for about four to five minutes on each side, turning them occasionally. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm quite happy. Now they are, you might want to cook them a bit longer yourself. I think these are done perfectly. Let's just set those aside. And including all this really burnt stuff in here, I want to add the rest of our marination. That little balance that we had earlier. Some black olives. Some sun dried tomatoes. garlic happening there, that lemon juice, that olive oil, it's absolutely beautiful, don't want to waste it. Yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add some cream, I've got a bit of cooking cream there. Now with cream, you have to keep stirring it quite vigorously, which is on a fairly high heat. That heat's going off now. And you've got an amazing little sauce there, really, you know, full, like really full of those flavours of, of the, um, the lamb. We have added sun-dried tomatoes, cream and the olives, so Really quick, that took us two minutes, I suppose. I'll see you at the table. 